This video introduces our paper, Learning Procedure Aware Video Representation from Instructional Videos and Their Narrations. Presented by Yi Wu Zhong from UW Medicine, this is a joint work with Meta AI. In this work, we propose to learn video representation by using the instructional videos from YouTube and the stat description from video narrations. Our method doesn't require any human annotation. The learned video representation encodes both action steps and their temporal ordering. After training, our model supports step classification by classifying the input short video into a step concept. When given a long video recording previous steps, our model can forecast diverse predictions for next step. Importantly, zero shot inference is enabled for both step classification and forecasting. Consider this example, making scramble eggs. One can follow the steps in this figure to make it. There will be other ways to make scramble eggs, as shown in the lower procedure. For all possible procedures, there are two main components, action steps and the temporal ordering of steps. In this project, we ask the question, can we build a vision model that understands task procedures? To learn task procedure, we leverage millions of videos on the internet that teach people to perform various tasks. Besides the videos, we pass the stat descriptions from video narrations. These video narrations come from the automatic speech recognition. Our goal is to learn video representation from these unannotated videos without using any human annotation. The resulting video representations encode both action steps and the step ordering. There has been active research in the past few years for understanding procedures in instructional videos. However, previous work either relies on human annotated action labels or relies on human summarized procedures. Their methods can only understand limited stack categories and cannot capture the variations in procedures. To learn task procedures, there are two main challenges. The first challenge is how to obtain labels for step concepts. The second challenge is how to learn step ordering and their variations. Our key idea is to leverage the pre-trained image language model to align video clips and the stack concepts. This enables open vocabulary understanding and zero-shot inference for stack classification. For the second challenge, we design a diffusion model to learn step ordering and the variations in procedures. Our model is able to forecast diverse predictions for the next step. Now, I will briefly present our model. Given a short video clip, we train a video encoder to extract visual features. This encoder tries to recognize individual action steps. To create pseudo-label for the input video, we leverage the pre-trained clip model to compute the similarity scores between each video clip and all stat descriptions in the pool. Then our video encoder learns to output the video representation guided by the pseudo-labels. Beyond individual action steps, now the question is how to learn step ordering and capture their variations. Our solution is to design a model to reconstruct the missing actions conditioned on the surrounding video clips. Such ordering is provided by video themselves. More specifically, we design a diffusion model to reconstruct the missing video embedding from the sampled Gaussian noise. Our diffusion model not only learns the step ordering, but also captures the variations in task procedures. During training, we use language matching laws on both video encoder and diffusion model, and attach the reconstruction laws on diffusion model. During inference, our video encoder can be used for step classification. When doing step forecasting, our diffusion model can output diverse predictions for next step.
Note that our method enables two new capabilities. The first one is zero shot inference, and the second is diverse step forecasting. Next, I will present our experiment's results. After pre-training, we evaluate our model on coin dataset. This dataset contains 400 hours of procedural activities, with each step annotated by human. Our evaluation includes step classification and step forecasting. There are two settings for both evaluation tasks. One is zero-shot setting, which directly evaluates the pre-trained model. The fine-tuning setting evaluates the model fine-tuned by human annotation. This is the zero-shot result of step classification. We compare with the clip model and the latest work distance supervision. Our model largely outperforms these strong baselines. Further, we evaluate our model in fine-tuning setting. These gray bars are the models pre-trained by action labels or captions from human annotators. These models are pre-trained by the narrations in videos. These are results from clip model and our model. Our model achieves new state-of-the-art results on both zero-shot and fine-tuning settings. Such large improvements suggest that our procedure-aware pre-training can learn high-quality video representations. Now let's take a look at zero-shot forecasting. We include random guess and clip as baselines. Our model outperforms these baselines by a clear margin. For fine-tuning setting, we include the baseline pre-trained by action labels and the models pre-trained by video narrations. Our model outperforms all baselines by a significant margin. These strong results are attributed to our procedure-aware video representation. Next, I will show some visualization for our zero-shot forecasting. Given an input video recording previous steps, our model can forecast multiple predictions, such as flatten the dog and bake pizza. After forecasting, the predicted step can be used for keyframe generation. By using stable diffusion, we can visualize what would happen in the future. This is another example of zero-shot forecasting and keyframe generation. To conclude, we propose to learn procedure-aware video representation. The key novelty lies in the joint learning of individual action steps and a diffusion model that captures the step ordering. Our model not only achieves new state-of-the-art results on step classification and forecasting, but also supports zero-shot forecasting, diverse step prediction, and keyframe generation.